Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you today? I hope you are all doing well. One out of a bunch movie that I'm obsessed with is The Hunger Games. So today I'm going to do the makeup inspired by Jennifer Lawrence in The Hunger Games. If you want to see how I do it, let's get started. First, I take Artist Rebalancing Foundation SPF 20 and I'm using the color Champagne number 15 and I puff it all over my face. Also, I bring it to my eyes too just to even out the skin tone. Then, I'm taking Revlon Photo Ready Concealer number 2 light to cover my acne scars, my hyperpigmentation. Also, I use it to cover the redness around my face too. And I use the same concealer to cover the darkness under my eyes and in the inner corner too. Then after that, I'm taking Bless Loose Powder and I'm using the shade Beach to set everything. Most of you must already have watched this movie, right? Do you like it? What do you think about it? Well, I'm not just like it. I'm kind of obsessed with it. <laughs> After priming my eyes with my concealer, I'm taking Etude Lucy Darling Fantastic Radiation Eyes Number no. 3. <laughs> That's a mouthful, guys. And I put it all over my lid using flat shader brush. Then I blend the edge. Next, I take this warm brown color from Bless. It's Bless of Eyeshadow Number no. 7 Dark Brown. And with a dome brush, I put it in the outer corner of my eyes and blend it with the bronze color. Also, I put it in the outer corner of my bottom lashes too, then I blend it again, so there is no harsh line. Next, I take LT Pro Powder Blush in PP8. With fluffy blending brush, I'm going to put it in my crease and blend everything. For the eyeliners, I choose Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner and for this time, I choose number 2 brown. And I use it with my angle brush, just a thin line is enough. I put it just as close as I can to my last line. This eyeliner have some glitters in it, but once I apply it to my eyes, I can't even see the glitters. Then I put it in my waterline too. Usually when I want to put some eyeliners to my waterline, I don't pull my under eye area too much, but I just push it and then it will show up. Next, I take Blast of Eyeshadow number 7 Dark Brown again and I put it on top of my eyeliners. I wiggle it a bit so we can create some smoky eyes effect. It will make your eyelashes look thicker too. Next, I take the lightest color, the white ones, from Etude House Lucy Darling Fantastic Radiation Eyes number 3 and I put it in the inner corner of my eyes. When it's still in the pan, it's already pretty, but once you apply it, it's even more beautiful. Love, love, love it. Also, I put it in my brow bone using the brush that comes with it. Next, I take Etudos Petty Darling Eyes Mate number 3 with an angle brush. I'm going to use it to fill in my brow. Now back to the face. I take LT Pro Powder Blush number PP8 and I'm going to use it to contour my cheek first. Start from the back of my cheeks, then I'm going to plan it so there is no harsh line. Harsh line for contouring is a big no. <laughs> then I'm going to contour the sides of my forehead too. Now,
Now it comes to my favorite part of contouring. I'm going to contour the sides of my nose to make it slimmer also taller. <laughs> then I'm going to blend it with my brows so it will make it more natural. For the blush, I choose this peach blush from Etude House. It's Etude House Lovely Cookie Blusher number 2 and I put it on the apples of my cheeks and blend it upward. For the lips, I choose Artist 3 Lip Color Cream number 2 to 5 Hush. And because of I'm a lip gloss addict, <laughs> I choose Etude House Your Darling Roll Roll Gloss number 11 and I put it on top of it. And after put on some mascara and false eyelashes, here is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!